Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna try to make my car run a little bit better because especially in cold starts in the mornings, it's very kind of limpy. Like you put your foot down slightly in first gear and it, it just sort of jolts. Hoping it's gonna be the math sensor. So we're on our way to Halford to the moment to buy some of the cleaning stuff for it. I'm hoping my car's gonna run a lot better. If not, then it may be the throttle body, but I don't have the kit to realign it, so I can't actually realign it, so I'm not gonna give that a go today. I'll see you in a bit. There's something I need in my car, double in the screen so I can plug media in the back and plug a PS2 in. That would be so sick. For long car journeys. Halfords, the uh, electrical contact cleaner, is basically the same as what they use to actually clean the math sensor. So, come around here. So you've got your, in, your, your air intake box, where the air filter is, and as it goes in there, this is where the sensor is. For some reason, I, I'm not actually sure why, or the turbo has it, but my 1.4 didn't have a sensor there for some reason. I have no idea why. Oh, so, it's always good. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the hell is that? It's like sandpaper, isn't it? Yeah. What is that doing in my car? <laughs> Where was it? Just there. <laughs> um, I'll just put that back. It's always good if in the back of your car you just have fucking tools. I just have tools. And I still have the pipe for where my where it needs to go on the exhaust. So if you want to grab your little tool belt, grab your little tool bag and bring <laughs> it around to the front. I watched one video on this and now I can safely say I am a qualified expert in math cleaning. I have a Jubilee cup. Pretty sure this just wiggles out. Yep, so that's the sensor and the by the looks of it, it's broken, which is always a good start. There's a little bit of wiggly stuff there, so I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't actually see that. Okay, so I take the airbox off. Obviously, you just got a couple of screws. The Jubilee clip, you just wanna loosen a little bit. Like that. Yeah, and then this one just come up. Do not drop that. There's another really doggy one around it. Quality filming expert, you say. 10 minute job, he said. Right, and then that should just pop off. Don't pull it too there hard. There we go. And then could you loosen the Jubilee clip? There we go. So is that the part? Uh, yeah. Doesn't even look that bad. Doesn't look too dirty at all. Just because that is basically open now. You do not want that to be open. So just cover it with a little plastic bag. Do, 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 do. Straw in there. And I think you basically just... It smells like alcohol. I can smell it now. It looks spotless. Fuck my life. I was kind of hoping this would be dirty. <coughs> it stinks. If you have a shitty air intake, like an aftermarket one, a lot of dirt can get in there. So this will help you out a lot. Okay, so an Easter egg later, we can finally continue. Now that your mouth is dried, we'll clean that mouth. <coughs> do, do you wash your mouth? <laughs> and then you gotta let it dry, yeah? Always wash your mouth. So follow me. It is pretty dry in there. No, it's dry, let's go put it back on. Find your jubbly clip back on. That's a lolly, isn't it, jubbly? <laughs> Do you ever feel <laughs> like a plastic bag? <laughs> and hopefully... Hopefully when it's going back on. It should run okay. So I'm hoping that's fine. If you get no engine lights on your dash, then you're good. You cleaned your map. The thing is, I'll turn it off so you can see it. Yeah. If it still runs like shit after that, it could be a dirty throttle body, which I may have to clean, which is here. There's this little bit here, I think, which I'll have to do next time. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.